So I'm just going to show him what I found, and uh, it'll be good. Hey! Once you've found out anything, come straight to me. That's what I did. And uh, what did I find? Yes, yeah, Margaret was investigating Thonar. So the clues point to the treasury house then. That makes sense. Thonar is involved in every facet of the city. Here's the gold I promised. Keep following the trail and there will be more in it for you. Sweet. How much? 600! Yeah! Who is willing? I don't care, really. So, yeah! Gold! Let me know as soon as you found anything. Yep. Let's go. So, Thonar. <laughs> Mentioned a treasury, so... There's a treasury around here, isn't it? I love the rocks. Um, there's a treasury, I think. Oh, there it is. On my right. Maybe it's up there? I'm just gonna check that door because it kind of looks like it could be here. Yep, sweet. No, I actually am um, doing pretty well for myself. I found this place rather easily. <coughs> well, if you're coughing, you might want to find a way to ventilate this air. Ew. Hi. I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons. <laughs> Maybe I am. I, I always love the fact that <laughs> the camera always shifts towards, um, like I know that they want to focus the camera like on the entirety of the character, but it just feels very uh, awkward when you're speaking to a female NPCs because you, you're going straight to the chest. Like I got my cursor right on her breast, so it's like really weird. Anyways, um, she's not wearing anything, like she, it's very revealing too. We know what the demographic was for this game. Anyways, uh... I want to see... I need... Yeah, Thonar. Is he around here? I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Well, yeah, he's expecting me. No, he isn't. Well, how about 175 gold, you know? Is that considered business? Riches are a gate opener around here. Head right in. Are you gonna tell me where to go in? Is it those gates behind me? Uh, behind you? I have records I need to tend to. Right. I'm just a servant. Don't pay me any mind. Sure isn't. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. Well, I just won't speak to you at all. Attitude. Is this it? No. There's another... My husband Thonar handles all our family's business. He's an important man. Mm-hmm. So am I. Because I'm the main character. I'm destined for great things. Okay, so what is... It's nothing. Knock, knock! Are you the guy? Yeah, you are. Okay. I thought you were like one of those, um... Commoners, but the way you look at me like, with a stern look... Yeah, Thonar. What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. Well, sucks to be you. I'm here to talk about Margaret. The Imperial agent? That's right, I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. 
You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Well, now, I didn't say anything. Out. What? By the gods, Petrit! Who? Is someone there? What the hell is going on? Sure, you handle it. Look what you made me do. Hey, be careful. Oh, that was just, like necromancy. Hey, another one of those. That was necromancy, wasn't it? The body floated. I don't need two keys. And she's like, "Man, it was nothing." My wife. They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. Oh. I don't know if he actually deserved well, to have his wife killed. I mean, she had an attitude and didn't like her that much. But, uh. I don't want to say you deserved it because that's kind of mean and this is too nice. So, um, are you going to talk now? Fine. You want to know what the Force One really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. Ah. Yes. Puppets. Kind of defective, aren't they? Uh. You mean the Force One have a king? Madanach, the king in rags. While we were off fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanach was busy ruling over the Reach. Until Ulfric came and put them down. Ulfric. Okay, yeah, I know that guy. Do I? I think so. So you made a deal with the Force One. Wonder why. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. What is the Sidna Mine, anyways? My prison. The source of half the silver in Skyrim. The most mm. secure prison in Damriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanok down there would keep him under control. No one escapes, so all the Force Rorns that we... Necromancers that we've killed, they're not part of that? Like... Some logic you got there. Um... Hell, I'm not interested in... Madanak. Like it's his problem. Sure. The blood of Markarth is silver. Silver? He's one of those uh, unicorns. It's okay, lady. You can do your whatever you're doing, attending to books. So. I don't know if I have enough information to give to um, that Wood Elf. I don't know. I forgot his name. Wait, turn off. Can I find evidence? Find evidence about Waylon? No, I don't need that. Obtain the key. To Find evidence of a Thorner. Well, he did tell me that. Does that count as an evidence? 
Maybe I should have helped. I'm just gonna talk to the wood elf, see if he what he has to say, and if he doesn't like if it doesn't advance the quest, I'll just come back and be a nice little player and uh, contribute. to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence what? witnesses. Work, work, work. <laughs> what did you do with, uh, is that the what else? El tries? Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Vonar and Madanak until you and Eltra started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the king in rags when you're in Sydney mine. Just give me some gold and all. All I wanted was the gold. Like, I don't care. Are you stop? Are you done with the dancing up and down thing? Neither two. We're two. They look more equipped than I am. Time to book it. You'll never leave Markarth. <laughs> That's what you think. Yeah. Come on, Janessa, run. Janessa? Whoa! What the hell's your problem, dude? Hold. You're under arrest for murder and conspiracy against the city of Markarth. Wasn't me! <laughs> you are fooling me. Trusted witnesses have seen you commit several murders. That's bull. And there are accounts of your suspicious behavior throughout the city. Now come quietly. Uh... How about no? Because they don't have a jail. They got the mine. Whoa, whoa, what's your problem? Is that the exit? That's the exit. <laughs> Most common domestic animals, and yeah, I'm running. Janessa, ah! and that's why I have investment in stamina. Run, 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 run. Yeah, he wants to kill me. Ah! Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. I was like, ah. That should be enough. I don't have time to read, but I'm going this way. Janessa is out there fighting, isn't she? <sighs> Maybe the AI will catch up. Right? come around right
Don't scare me like that. Are you hurt? I can't. You seem okay. You didn't kill all of them, did you? And uh, th the hard thing is that I was going through my mind, like if she died, although I don't think she can die, now that I think about it, but if she had died, would I, would I reset the game, would I reload? Now that I mentioned that, I'm going to quick save. Um, and, um, the answer, and as much as I like her, would have been no. Because I think what's most important when playing these games is um, living with your consequences. I can't even read half of these. Solitude. And, um... So yeah, I guess we can't go there anymore. Wanted. I can always go to Rookstead. I'll go to Rookstead. Not sure how I'm supposed to get there. There's mountains everywhere. I'm thinking this way. It's probably like a road from there to there. I don't think there'd be any roads here, but you know, maybe some. Very light roads, like some paths, essentially. So we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, I, I think what's most important about playing these games is living with the, the, the consequences of your actions. Like, don't jump, you know, off a cliff and just reload. Essentially, you kind of want to stay alive. And I think. I don't know what would have happened if I would have got arrested, I'm assuming, because it was a choice with the guards, and I'm not talking about the guards outside, I'm talking about the guards that were in the, um, the shrine. I heard an arrow, but I'm not sure. Mm. You tired? Hey chicken. I suppose, yeah, if you're fighting some guards. But yeah, like the guards in the, the shrine, they gave me the, the, the option to um, continue with their plan, like getting arrested and all that stuff. And I'm thinking maybe those, if you did that, uh, then you could have continued with the quest line and like from the inside, so you escape prison. Kind of like a scripted event, like uh, Oblivion. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking. I figured I had the chance to run away. I mean, that's what thieves do. So, go with my gut and just run. And that's why I have the stamina investment. So, she turned out pretty good. Okay. 